Hey everybody, it's Andy Barrar, aka Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com and today I'm doing a review for Best Buy's blog on this bad boy right here. This is the TP-Link Archer GX90 Tri-Band Wi-Fi 6 Router AX6600. That's a mouthful and I'm going to explain everything about what that means. So if you're in the market for a new router, you want to get a better internet connection and you're a hardcore gamer, you're going to want to watch this review. So sit back, relax, and cue in that handy Andy intro. So first things first, let's start with the design of the GX90. You can see there are eight high gain antennas. They don't come with them on, they actually do come off and you just got to click them in. Uh, unlike other routers, these ones are not adjustable. They're pretty much fixed. Once they go in, that's it. Uh, on the back is where you're going to find all the different ports, but you'd be hard pressed to know what is the back when you look at it because it is basically a square design. But if you turn it around, you're going to see all the different types of ports that you would expect on a router, except there's a little bit of a twist, something that uh, I was really impressed to see. There are dual WAN ports on here. So you got a 2.5 gigabits per second WAN and also a gigabit per second WAN port. Now you're probably like, why do I need two WAN ports? Well, think about it. Theoretically, you could, if you really wanted to, have two different internet connections from perhaps two different ISPs, and you could connect them both into this router. Now that's gonna do a lot of different things. It's gonna do what's called load bearing. So you're gonna be able to share the load of all the different internet traffic on those two different internet connections. The other option you could do is basically have it as a backup. So in the event that one of the networks goes down, you have a backup so it's not gonna affect your gaming when you're playing online games. You have that redundancy for your internet connection in place. In terms of the setup, everything happens through the TP-Link Tether app. So you have to download that on your smartphone or you could actually do it old school on the desktop, but I use the TP-Link Tether app, and I gotta say, man, as somebody who you know used to install routers way back in the day, it has gotten so easy. You know, and my family still tells me to come over to install like new wireless products, and I'm like, just download the app and follow the instructions, because that's exactly what I did. You do have to set up a TP-Link ID, so you have to create an account, and then after you do that, what it does is it binds your ID and your device to the router so it knows that it's you. Because the last thing you want is somebody to break into your wireless network. A whole bad things could happen. So the binding that they did not in the install, I thought that was a great, great uh, feature, security feature. Now let's talk a little bit about the wireless signal strength because I have reviewed a lot of different Wi-Fi 6 routers. I've reviewed a lot of routers over the years and I've been doing the same basic test. When I installed this in my living room, of course the wireless signal was 100%. When I'm sitting here in my studio, it went down to about 85% and I'm about two rooms away, so not bad. That was pretty strong. Then I went on to my back deck and then the signal was really dropping down lower. I've been trying, because I've been really curious about Wi-Fi 6 as a wireless standard, because I'm wondering, because everyone knows the five gigahertz band is not as long, doesn't have that same range as 2.4. So I'm like, you know, with Wi-Fi 6, did they actually fix that problem with the five gigahertz band? I don't think so, because I took my phone to my back shed, which is way on the other side of my property, and I have a pretty big lot. And I went back over there, no signal, nothing. Couldn't even get onto the network. So, you know, that's an issue. There's also game diagnostics. And so in the event that you're having some type of network connectivity issues, you can go in there and it's that typical ping or the other thing that it does is called trace route. And so I use the ping feature and it just tells you the milliseconds of the uh, low, high and medium of your milliseconds. So, you have to have a little bit of technical experience for wireless connections, but those features, typically with gamers, they are pretty geeky, so they understand this kind of stuff and they have those features uh, inside. You can also get a lot of different kind of game statistics about your network, how it's performing under gaming conditions inside there. So there are software data built in specifically for gamers. Even the interface looks very much like it was catered towards gamers. 
So in short, you know, with the popularity of online gaming, with the introduction of Wi-Fi 6, it was only a matter of time before we saw a Wi-Fi 6 gaming router and the TP-Link Archer a GX90 AX6600 tri-band Wi-Fi router is just that product. So do you need this to game? No. Are you, if you identify yourself as a gamer, and you know, come on, gamers always want the best gear. If that's you, then something like this is going to appeal to you because it really is part of your uh, identity and you're going to have a fantastic network. The big difference that I've noticed with this is really just the software. You know, you could still get a Wi Fi 6 router at these kind of speeds and probably do very well with gaming. But if you want that additional kind of diagnostic tools, the game accelerator, you want that interface, um, then you definitely want to get this. One thing I wish this had, and I don't understand, they totally missed the boat on this one, is this is a gaming router. Put some LEDs on this. I make it just glow all these different RGB colors. Like it should look like a spaceship. It should like almost want to fly away. Because imagine you mount this on the wall and you got all these crazy colors on there. Gamers would love that. I, I you know, TP Link. This, this body, actually, they've used this body before in a previous uh, model. So they really just fixed under the hood. They didn't really do any kind of uh, additional designs for the body of this router. And I would have loved, you know, give me some LEDs. Put some LEDs on this, please. That would make me a happy, happy man. Well, I hope you like this review of TP-Link's Archer GX90 AX6600 tri-band Wi-Fi 6 router breathe if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below if you like the video hit that like button and subscribe to this channel you can find more information about me at my website handyandymedia.com i also have a youtube channel as well so if you're into like diy kind of stuff life hacks tech hacks and product reviews go ahead and subscribe to that as well once again my name is andy barrar handy andy the diy tech guy the handyman of tech Signing out. We'll see you again next time. Bye for now.